WA doctors are using the power of computer games to help stroke survivors. They've been working with Murdoch University to develop a rehabilitation program that's working to bring back patients' movement with very promising results. Craig Watts used to love going to the gym and playing water sports, but that all changed in 2011 when he was hit by a stroke. Couldn't work. I couldn't walk. Communication was a problem. Craig lost all movement on the left side of his body. Four years on, the 61-year-old is fighting to regain his independence through virtual reality. This is absolutely the future for stroke care. Called Neuromender, the program lets Craig perform his rehabilitation therapy without leaving the house. As his movement improves, the game's difficulty increases. It's, it's good fun. It's, and because I'm quite competitive, I enjoy trying to beat my previous score and things like that. Using just a computer and 3D sensor, the program gives real-time feedback to the patient and health experts. Data is collected up to five times every second. Then their data is uploaded to a server. And so a clinician like myself can get online from my office, remove from them, and I can look at their information. It means more regular therapy for patients and less costly doctor's appointments. The whole thing costs below $700. And if you've already got a laptop and one of the devices, the cost is even less. Dr Mohammed Fariz Shiratudin's mother is also a stroke survivor. He came up with the concept and designed the program with the help of Murdoch University students. Games is not just about fun and, and uh, entertainment, but also it can help people as well. I would be surprised if this stuff doesn't take off and you're looking at a huge industry. For now, Craig is working on his upper arm mobility, but experts hope the technology will one day help him to drive again. I know I'll never get back to where I was, but with the help of the virtual reality, I think I might get some way back towards where I was. Clinical trials for virtual reality rehab begin in January. Nathan Brooks, Nine News.